driving. Wow, that's a narrow lane. That's a narrow lane. <laughs> so this is my Rose uh, Farm campsite. So, I've arrived at Melrose Farm Club site and it's absolutely lovely roof and a, a great actually spot. So, uh, yeah, I'm here and this is my compound. So, there I am. So, I've got it quite well in here. Hello there. So, this is. So, the sun has just gone in, but it's lovely here. Absolutely, it's like a microclimate. So, there's inside, they've got the lights on. Oh, Sally on. I've just been cleaning uh, my carpets and my floor. So, excuse the mess at the moment. It is a bit of a mess, work in progress, but it's all getting cleaned out. So, I can go through either way, come out the back. So, as you can see, the carpet's getting cleaned. So, this is my uh, kitchen. So I'm going to put my paddleboard up next week. Paddleboard's there. So I've got all my stuff here. My little kitchen here. All my appliances. Brilliant. Barbecue down there, ready to use. Uniform over there. I've got to sort out my storage still. No, I've got obviously a telly now. And uh, yeah, sink there as well. So plenty of food in the freezer. In the fridge, should I say. There you are. Plenty of food. And also loads in the freezer, all full. Bathroom's there. Uh, missing a light, but that's getting sorted. Can't help that. But yeah, it's nice and clean. I've got a few things on the shelf. <laughs> Some might say I'm a bit OTT. And I probably am. Some creams and stuff, there you are. Anyway, back of the vehicle. So I left Brixham on Monday morning. All I'll say is the site is absolutely gorgeous. The facilities are amazing and there's one lovely couple that I hope everyone's okay with them and that's Dean and Julie. Other than that I'll say no more but yeah I left there after seven weeks and fair dues to HR. In fact I'd say fair dues to Leah Clark, who I contacted first, thank you Leah, uh, and Wayne, thanks Wayne Brown for your assistance with the move, and also to, to Rachel from HR. So they banged their heads together, they worked out a plan, and uh, within a week I'm here. And I have to say, it's absolutely stunning. I haven't really looked around the whole park yet. So this is Merrow's Farm Club site and you've got traffic lights actually the, at the entrance here. No barriers here. There's a the reception over there. It's quite busy at the moment. There's lots of people on site. Hello there. Lots of people on site. Absolutely chocolate over there. Loads of people on site. I'm not going to go too far on at the moment. This is the uh, Late night arrivals here, I think, as well. And this is where you park up when you go to book in. And that's uh, Phil and Reeves compound. 
So there, I put lights all round. Got a nice setup. I'm going to go and walk to the beach. I'd say it's about 25, 30, 25, 26 degrees at the moment. But yeah, I take, I take my hands off. It's scorching. Loving it. Yeah, I'm. I'm really, really pleased I moved here. I'd stopped, I apologise because uh, I'd stopped doing social media. Uh, I just didn't have, a, I lost my mojo at Hillhead. Dawn Field, I loved it. Hillhead, not, but here, I can feel it's good vibes already. So here's the reception, as you come in. Look at that, beautiful sight. So there you are, that's what it's called there. Uh, Morose, I find it hard to say Morose Farm club site. Yeah. This is right down in Cornwall, very close to uh, St. Mao's. Oh, look at that, traffic lights are changing for us. Now, uh, we've had, uh, or should I say, not we, but Phil's had, uh, Phil and Ruth have had a team of uh, landscapers in today to cut the hedges. So, this road here normally. When I turned up yesterday, the grass was growing up here, all the way up. The beans today cut back everything, made it a bit better. And there's the traffic lights, as you can see ahead, telling me to stop now. It's only, it's only telling vehicles to stop. So apparently the beach is about 10 minutes this way. So I'm going to walk there, see what it's like. Traffic lights there. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, when I get close to the beach, I'll give you, a, I'll give you all a shout. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm, uh, I'm back where I should be. I've been getting lots of headaches I had since, and this is since I was at Hillhead. Lots and lots of headaches. Uh, I ended up going to a local doctor. And uh, they thought I might be having a stroke. So they sent me for an emergency uh, CT scan. Found nothing. Found absolutely nothing. Uh, all the tests all came back good. And one of the nurses said to me as I was leaving, she goes, uh, sounds like stress, you know. And I never even thought about it. And I think that's what it was. Because the moment I spoke to Wayne and to Rachel on the phone about moving and they said yes, I've not had a headache since and that's quite uncanny really and I hope it stays that way, I'll keep my fingers crossed. So we're down the lane now, look, very narrow and there's the entrance in so it's, you'll only get one vehicle in but the traffic light system works really well here and all this has been... So here we are, up the lane Look at that, it's beautiful isn't it? Up the lane, onto the main road here. And as you can see, lights stay red for two minutes it says. Great, absolutely great system. I'm not sure which way I'm going now. Let's have a look at my phone. It's got to be down this way, because that was uh, the coast that way. I think I go across. Quite a fast road, I'll tell you that. Quite a fast road indeed. So I'm sure I cut across here. Oh, Roosevelt. Best being on the, the opposing side of the road so you can see traffic coming towards you. And I'm going to go and stand over there and I'll have a quick look at my phone find out where I'm going but I'm certain it's down here so ah uh, yeah they are farm shop apparently this is this farm shop and also there's a foot there's a hut here well known for food have I brought my wallet with me I have oh there you are I might well do that so St Mauer's is five miles that way, Truro 15 miles that way and Rosevine is one mile this way 
but I'm not sure if Rosevine I'm still not sure if Rosevine is where I'm going is the beach that way? it's what? thanks mate so I have to go that way? ok thanks mate there you are, <laughs> he likes my he likes my he liked my top Wrexham I've had a few people saying about my top I'm not sure if you can see it there there's my top Wrexham top I've had a few people uh, saying to me oh I had a couple of, well yesterday Scouser came up to me who stayed on site and he went oh your team's there got the best supporters one of the most passionate supporters in the world and uh, as, as Scout says he says support our team first Liverpool or everything but it's Wrexham after that we love Wrexham I thought that was pretty good that anyway I'm in the wrong place so he said to me it's back down this road okay so we'll give it a go but what a beautiful location so that's back to the site there So back to the site. I'm going to get my phone out, I think. I think the best thing to get my phone out. So stand by a second. I'm just going to get my phone out and have a quick look. Busy road here, though. Very busy road. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to see much in here. No, not there. Let's have a look at maps. So I'm now here. There's a beach. The hut. Let's get directions to the hut. Directions. Five minutes. Stop. So. So it's telling me the hut is that way. So let's exit the hut. Let's have a look where the beach is in. So that's all sight. So it's telling me to go that way. Let's see how long it takes. It's 26 minutes walking it. 26 minutes walking it so uh, but he said it's five minutes to the beach I'm trying to find the beach and there is a, oh okay let's have a look at that one there and uh, Porth Bean Beach recently viewed oh you can get to it Okay. I'm still confused. Start. Head east towards A307 It's not helping me. Right and I'm hopeless as stop recording. I'm gonna come back to you in a second. I just had a look at the map and it's actually telling me it's down that way where I was actually walking. I'll try and do that again. It's down that way where I was trying to walk. Uh, but it's about 25 minutes. I'm gonna get the bike I think and go down on the bike might make sense uh, go back down this way see what happens but the roads are too busy to uh, just go down to I might actually go in the car the roads are very busy so I'll someone waiting to go through Yeah, so, uh, I've got a good feeling about this place. Yards, so, slide left. <laughs> and I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing here, but doesn't it look lovely? That sun. I've got a smile on my face again. Oh, I, the moment I got here, not when I left, 
and I got here. The moment I got here, I spoke to Ruth and Phil. And Ruth and Phil have been following me, well, we've been following each other on Instagram for over a year. And in fact, Ruth, Ruth sent me a message about two or three weeks ago. And she just put on it, sent me a mess, private message saying, are you okay? And it's because when I spoke to her, it was because I'd stopped doing social media. So she knew there was something not right. So uh, very, very uh, observant of her to notice that. But yeah, here feels right. And when I spoke to Wayne and Rachel from HR, Rachel actually said to me, you'll fall in love with this place. It's absolutely amazing. Five minutes from the beach. Well, I can't find a bloody beach at the moment, but I believe you, Rachel, five minutes from the beach. <laughs> I just, but me and maps and me and sat navs. It's like when I got here yesterday, did I take the safest and widest route? Did I hell as like? I took the narrowest bloody route going and I had to stop a few times and vehicles had to try and get round me. Yeah, here we are back at the site. I'll see if uh, I'll see if my friends or my colleagues can kind of give me directions <laughs> because I'm bloody hopeless. Slide left, then slide right. I'm back at the site. Thanks, but uh, this is a lovely site. One toilet block. And there's only, there's uh, managers, Ruth and Phil, and me at the moment. Uh, so it's a two couple size, but it should be more. It's got 170 odd pitches, and I tell you what, it's really busy. Uh, they get a pizza wagon here and a chippy wagon here once a week. I think Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yippee! I won't be cooking those nights then. So I'm going to go and see if I can find my trusted colleagues to give me directions in a second. And that's the other side. And this van is uh, the South Wales, yay, as well. Let's see if uh, I can get any Phil. Let's see what he says. Oh, he can't hear me. He's got his headphones on. Are <laughs> uh, you okay on camera or not? Hey? You okay on camera? You're all right on this? I'm all right. Good. I, I went out to the end of the road. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find my way anywhere. You go to the top of the road? Yeah. yeah. Cross the road. So, so, so I go to the top of the road, it's a quick left, uh, right and then left. Right, left, yeah. straight down there. Because I just went down that way and the guy said, no, it's not this way, it's down that way, another way. No, straight down there. Oh, right. Top of the road. Yeah. Take a right, yep. take a left. Oh, oh, there's a oh, <laughs> roof hiding. Oh. Oh. She's having an incentive, isn't she? Yes. Yeah, that will take you to the farm shop. Yeah. Down on the coast path. Otherwise, you can go round the road down into the hidden And it's, it's, is it literally five minutes down that road? About 20 minutes. Walk. Walk down the road. And I'll, if I take the car, I can park, can't I? Yes. I'll, I'll take the road. car. I'll take the car. We'll give okay. it a go. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye! Enjoy! Thank you! See? Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And he's got the same hairstyle as me as well. As well. I've got directions off uh, Phil. I was going the right way. Well, that guy obviously didn't like my Wrexham top. <laughs> he tried to send me the wrong way. There's Phil going on his way. 
to do the bins and that's me going as well. I'm gonna follow him down. So, still looking, sees that way, some beautiful houses here, absolutely beautiful. I can't believe how hot it is, uh, it's telling me the temperature is 23 degrees. Let those go, they came up for T-Junction but they were being very live. So we're going to park just here. Oh, stunning. It's okay, mate. You're okay. Every time you touch me, I swear that I see the future in everything you do. Kind of like it came right out of the clouds, like a storm full of colors in my room. This way, yeah. I'm hungry. It's like being on safari. <laughs> You're really up here. Get your way through. Old town, you gotta go. Our bags are packed, so what we waiting for? There's no point in delaying what we both already know. Let's skip this time with me. Let's skip this time with me. This is where there's the hook. So we just come from over there. It's a slow. So I'm going to eat a salted caramel ice cream because this lady said I should have one. This lady said it's nice. Right. I've come to test your salted caramel ice cream. Someone just told me that I've... Would you want to try some? I'll have one, thank you. No, I'll have one. I'm, I'm going to have one. Go for it. In a tub or a cone? Cone, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. I come through, yeah? Cool. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Cheers now. Take care.
That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Oh my god, you're right. It's bad. Oh my god. That, that salted caramel ice cream was the best I've had. Waking up in this paradise. Good advice. I thought I was paralyzed. It's just as I realized a continuous fall. Jumped on a fast train to jump off a fast train to land on my glass race. It all breaks the same. I'm up in the airplanes, looking for airplanes, destined to make a change. So I jump towards the sea. So apparently, where I thought is a good place, but there is also a parking car park up those steps somewhere just up there There's some good steps there you still can only just see the roof of the hut just there that's called the hidden hut and the food is all hand it's all uh, homemade it's not out of the packet and you pay for what you get it looks yummy it looks like it sells out quite fast and uh, the reason I just went for an ice cream because he had nothing else. Well, he did have some other stuff, but I didn't fancy soup on a warm day. Soup isn't really what I want. Look at that little village over there. Oh. Fantastic, isn't it? Look at it. And on top of that, the naval, uh, I don't know what they are, what the Merlins, I think they are, they're helicopters with the radar on them. They fly over very high above the clouds and they circle around. I think they're doing training, but you can hear them now. You can't see them because they're really high up. He sounds like he's very really close actually. I'm trying to look for him now. There he is, I can see him. He's, I don't think you can see him up there, but he's right up there. He's got to be 20, well, no, maybe, maybe seven or eight thousand feet. So here we are, packet base, pizza parlor. Gonna go get my pizza in a second. And there's my compound. Traveling in yesterday. 
That's scorching. You don't mind me filming, do you? No, you carry no. on there. Okay, I've taken your details. I do YouTube and Instagram, I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hi. <laughs> so you do, do you elsewhere as well then? Where else do you do? Um, so yeah, we I live further west Cornwall. Right, okay. Um, down towards, towards Hale. Um, so we generally go along the north coast here. We, this is rare for us to come to this area. Oh, right, it's really? a bit of a drive for me. It took me oh, about an hour to get here. Oh, I hope um, it's worth it for you then. It is, yeah. It's actually been really good. But, good. Um, Phil, Phil got in touch with us because he'd had our pizzas last summer at a different campsite. Right. And he really, he really wanted us to come to, to this site. Good, good. He said we'd give it a try. But it's been going pretty well. It's quite busy at the moment here. Yeah, surprisingly so. Yeah. But, uh, it's just about July, isn't it? It's where bookings look a little bit yeah. down. So. I, I've just moved from Hillhead, I am. Oh, look at that. Uh, they haven't got the best reputation here in South West Washington. No, they, ha they haven't, have they? No, <laughs> I've heard that. Uh, can I have some uh, chilli oil, please? Thank you. Don't mind, I've got Phil's pizza here as well. I'll take that over, yeah. yeah. No problem. I'll charge you for delivery. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cheers, Simon. Mate. Cheers, guys. See you later. Take care. Ciao. That's lovely. That looks amazing. Delivery charge apparently. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Check the truck. How much time the truck is? Yeah. Amazing, don't they? Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to enjoy that. Lovely lad, isn't he? I'll see you later. Yeah, he said that you found him up. Right. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. See you later.